Ethan Lane is returning to Broadway. The three-time Tony Award winner will star in the new play Pictures from Home. He will perform next month alongside Tony winner Danny Burstein and Olivia winner Zoe Wanamaker. On stage host Frank Delella sat down for a one-on-one -on -one with Nathan Lane to learn more about the role and what it means to be back on stage. Good morning, Frank. Good morning, Pat. What, uh, what is Nathan Lane saying about this production and, and the return to the stage? He's just excited to be back on stage. In fact, we have a great soundbite about kind of telling a little bit about this new play. Let's take a listen. Nathan Lane, welcome back to Broadway. Thank you. You play the character of Irving in this play. Who's Irving? Irving is Irv Sultan, who was uh, the father of Larry Sultan, this celebrated photographer who put together this photo book memoir called Pictures from Home, which is what the play is adapted from. It's a universal story about parents and mortality, something we all <laughs> have to deal with and face uh, sooner or later. First time for him back on stage since pre-pandemic 2019. Yeah, you know, the last time we saw him on Broadway was in Gary, a sequel to Titus Andronicus. And of course, he did that beautiful performance in Angels in America in 2018, where he won a Tony Award. I'm just excited to see Nathan back on stage. I mean, he's great in everything he does. Yeah. And he's definitely a draw for crowds. So it's pretty exciting, Pat. Here's another clip from, from the interview uh, as uh, Nathan and Frank got into the topic of how grateful he is to be back on stage. 2020 was a terrible year for everyone because of the pandemic. But I went through, Terrence McNally died. Then Brian Dennehy died. Then I had to put my dog down because she was incredibly ill. Then they canceled the series <laughs> I, that I loved doing, uh, that I just finished doing for Showtime. And I thought, well, that's it. I paid my dues. Nothing terrible, nothing awful could happen after all of that. And then I had uh, cancer. You know, I had, a, I had a, a tumor on my left kidney and they had everything it all had to go. And fortunately, you know, I, I, I'm lucky and, you know, there was no uh, uh, chemo or, you know, I was, they were able to do it surgically and I had a great surgeon and great people at Sloan Kettering. But, um, you know, it, it, it uh, puts everything in perspective. Um, and, uh, you know, I just feel very lucky <laughs> to be alive and to get to do you know, something as, as beautiful as this play. Talk about being grateful to be back on stage and just happy to kind of bring what you do, your yeah. art to mm -hmm. the masses, right? What a full circle kind of moment too, because the meaning of the play, he talked to you about how meaningful that is and it's a message that people need to see about mortality and your family, yeah. your parents, perhaps even more meaningful to him now considering everything he's gone through. Absolutely, absolutely. And then Terrence McNally and Brian Dennehy, two other greats of the theater who are very close friends to Nathan who we lost during COVID. We're gonna have more on Pictures from Home with Nathan Lane and his co-stars in the coming weeks and on stage. The previews for the play begin uh, just into the new year. January 10th is when they get going with that at Studio 54. Thank you, Frank. We continue with author.